It's places like this that the Club runs its Eat Local campaign. This is The Nest. It's a hop and a skip away from our Hereford club site. And I have to say, it's one of the most fantastic farm shops in terms of the amount of local produce that you find here. I could spend hours. So I'm going to be cooking a vegan dish on my Kadak. I've got the last bunch of local asparagus here. And these look particularly good. So I'm going to try and smoke some cherry tomatoes and see how we get on. I'm going to make a vegan dish on my Kadak barbecue now. It's a warm salad of butternut squash, tomatoes with some nuts and beans. But the twist is I'm going to smoke the butternut squash and the tomatoes to give the whole dish that lovely kind of smoky barbecue flavour. There are two types of smoking really, hot smoking and cold smoking. Hot smoking is where you're cooking the food at the same time, so say some salmon and the smoke flavour's going in and your food is cooking. Cold smoking is where you get the smoke going, turn the heat off and then you put the raw ingredients in and let the smoke flavour imbue with that ingredient. I'm going to cold smoke some tomatoes and some butternut squash. To start the smoking off, I've got my Kadak smoke box here. I filled it with apple chips. You can use any flavour that you want. Soak them first so that when you put the heat on it doesn't immediately just combust and burn too quickly. Put the grill on. Pop the smoke box on and get the heat. And the most important thing is to get the lid on. You want to try and keep as much smoke as possible. So the way I do that is to cover this with a little bit of foil to try and keep as much smoke in as possible. Take about half an hour and just keep checking. I'm going to cold smoke, so I'm going to switch this off and then I've got to be super quick about getting my ingredients in and the lid back down. A tray of tomatoes. And then the butternut squash pieces. Now the residual heat in there will keep that smoke going. That's had about half an hour. I think the smoke is beginning to die down. I'm going to take those off and then I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on this butternut squash and then actually put it back on to griddle properly and cook it. So I've just turned those and I'm just going to add the asparagus on now. So that is looking perfectly cooked now. I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to swap the Kadak services over from the griddle to the chef pan. Heat a little bit of oil in the chef pan. So a top tip for keeping the wedge is in the onion is to cut the shapes but keep the root on and then just when you're ready to cook it, take the root off and the top. So I just want to sweat those down. So it'll probably take about eight minutes or so. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in, that's just one crushed clove, about a tablespoon of paprika and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Give that a good mix around. I've got some sun-dried tomatoes, some fresh tomatoes and then I've got a couple of cans of mixed beans. So we've got some kidney beans and black beans in there. That'll take about five minutes, just keep an eye on it, keep stirring. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh thyme, you can add parsley or any herbs that you like in particular. I've added my butternut squash back in and the asparagus and now finally I'm going to pop the beautiful smoked cherry tomatoes on the top and then finally for a little bit of crunch and texture I'm adding some nuts. I'm just going to make a very quick dressing to go with this. So about a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, a bit of balsamic vinegar, you could use lemon and then I'm going to add a squidge of honey, mix it all up and then I'm going to turn the heat off and mix that through. So there you go, that's a warm vegan salad made on the barbecue. Using the smoker, it gets all those beautiful barbecue flavours into vegetables and creates a really, really fabulous dish.